My mama says, always clean up your mess before you make a new one. Many of the complexes crucial to the nuclear weapons enterprise are working overtime while old buildings are sitting and crumbling from contamination. Take the Y-12 complex in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. This is where the U.S. enriched uranium and now where it makes a secondary component of thermonuclear warheads. It's been around since the Manhattan Project in 1943. Yellow uranium drips down the walls in Y-12 buildings. Contamination of mercury, radioiodine, and PCBs run into the nearby rivers. Now, the DOE expects to demolish 100 buildings and extract 700,000 pounds of soil contaminated by mercury. And sites that were part of the nuclear weapons program in the last century are sitting contaminated, waiting to be cleaned up. Hanford, Washington, where they process the plutonium for Batman, is the most radioactive site in the United States. 56 million gallons of radioactive waste sits in dilapidated drums underground, one million gallons of which has already leaked into the soil. And these are just a few examples. U.S.'s current modernization program plans to spend $1.7 trillion on new nuclear warheads, delivery systems, and infrastructure, while the waste from old projects seeps into people's bodies, water, and the soil. And resuming nuclear testing, an event that even conducted underground would cause even more contamination? No way. 